Greetings, East Coast Migrant Head Start Project family. Today marks my second year anniversary as CEO of this great institution. And it is March. I want to start by celebrating every lady that works for this great organization. You are the backbone of East Coast Migrant Head Start Project. Happy Women's History Month. I salute you and I celebrate you. In these past 24 months, we have conquered many challenges, but most important, we have remained a beacon of light for our migrant farm worker families. Together, we have faced the ugliness of the worst pandemic in modern history. We have lost loved ones, colleagues, and many of us tested positive and suffered the lingering effects of COVID. But at the same time, while we navigated through this pandemic, Together, here at East Coast Migrant Head Start Project, we have accomplished and implemented many transformative and life-changing initiatives. Join me in a walk through memory lane. Let's remember a few of the miracles you have made possible. First, we open up all our educational campuses only three months after the pandemic hit us. We created 35 new campus custodians positions. We never had those before. We launched a YouTube educational channel. More than 600 videos have been created by our amazing teachers. We became COVID ambassadors and we canvassed the farm worker community with reliable information helping our families. 90% of us got fully vaccinated. We realigned our regional territories to best serve our children. We increased the budget by $17 million. We created the Departments of Communication and the Departments of Community Collaboration. We expanded to three new states and opened 12 educational campuses. We expanded services in multiple educational campuses. In fact, today, five of them are open year round. We launched a fun podcast, Cultivating Minds. I hope you're listening. We launched the Parent Mobile app. Our parents are loving it. We increased the stipends of our Policy Council representatives just to help them and compensate their wage losses while they helped us. We implemented a curriculum assessment called DDRP. We initiated a paper light initiative, good for the trees. We have executed many, many wage compensation initiatives and premium pay to ensure that you would be okay during the pandemic. This was for you. We also launched our Centers of Excellence Initiative. And we have met, most important, the funding enrollment for two years in a row. Thank you, thank you so much. Of course, we have increased the minimum hiring wage to $15 an hour, something that I know you deserve. My dear colleagues, this is just the beginning. 80% of you will receive a bump in pay by July of this year. I promise you, the best is yet to come. As you know, we are hosting our first professional development conference in August of 2022. We are also in the process of receiving the prestigious NACI accreditation in every single one of our educational campuses. The Centers of Excellence Initiative will be completed by the end of this year, and all the campuses will look like brand new sites. This is only possible because of you. I want to thank the Board of Directors, the Policy Council members for their leadership. I am so grateful to all the Chiefs for their vision, their tenacity, and their hard work, and for working alongside me. I thank each and every one of you for your support, I thank you for your commitment to excellence. We talked about that on day one. For your love to our children, for your professionalism, and your respect to this great organization. I only ask of you to keep up the good work. Y muchísimas gracias por todo su apoyo.